Hey guys, so I'm just applying some sunscreen. I always like to give my skin some sort of protective layer during these hot, hot summer months. So I'm just going with some foundation. Um, this is by Black Radiant. I'm in the shade of Rum Spice. I love this foundation. It's my absolute favorite, favorite foundation. I love it because it matches me so well. It doesn't really look like I'm wearing makeup by the time I blend it all in. And the best part is that it's affordable, so I just love it. So now I'm using my trusty LA Girls, I use the color Fawn, um, as my highlight slash concealer. Um, so yeah, I'm just applying this under my eyes, on my chin, nose, and forehead. Oh, and underneath my cheekbones just to give it that pop. So I'm just blending that in with my Real Techniques um, blending sponge. I love it. And it's super, super affordable too. I think it's a great dupe to the Beauty Blender. So now I'm just setting my concealer using the baking method. I'm using NYC translucent powder, but I'm just going to set this all over the areas that I put concealer. I'm going to let this sit for about 15 minutes. <laughs> so now I'm just blending this away with a big fluffy powder brush. So now I'm just using my black radiance, or actually black opal, um, concealer stick to contour. So I'm just putting this on my forehead, nose, and cheekbones. You guys know the drill. Again, I'm blending that in with the Real Techniques blending sponge. So I'm using my CoverGirl bronzer to just set that cream product. It also gives a very warm look to the face, so I love it. Going in with a smaller brush to blend my nose contour. So now let's get started on the eyes. I'm using my MAC concealer just to act as a primer on my eyelids. This is in the color NC45. I love doing this because it allows my eyeshadow to just last forever. So I'm going in with a nice orange color. This is by Jordana and I'm just blending that into the crease as my transition color. Taking out my Wet n Wild Trio, um, I'm just dipping my finger into the gold shadow and just placing this all over my lid. I'm just blending that out so that we don't have any harsh lines. So using that bronzer again, I'm just going to define my crease. Well, I'm probably going to dance first and then <laughs> define my crease. So yeah, um, I just love the way that looks combining the transition color and the bronzer in the crease. I'm blending this both on the outer corner and the inner corner. Going back into that trio, I'm using the dark brown color just to deepen up the crease. I'm really focusing on the outer corners of my eyes here. This color is super pigmented along with every other Wet n Wild product. So I'm using a fluffy blending brush just to blend that color more into the crease but not too far in. Again, just to give it some really nice definition. Going into my Lorac Unzipped palette, I'm dipping my brush into the deepest brown um, 
and I'm just putting that into the crease just to lighten that other brown up a little bit. I found that it was just a little bit too dark for my liking. So I'm picking up my e.l.f. Um, warm palette and I'm just going in with the three light colors that I pointed out and just highlighting my brow bone. Now I'm moving on to liner. I'm using the e.l.f. gel liner here and I'm just trying to make a pretty thick wing. Let me tell you there's nothing harder than trying to film yourself doing a wing like on a camera like it's so so hard but god helped me and i figured it out <laughs> there we go so now i'm going in with my jordana eyeliner and dark brown and i'm just bringing that to the lower lash line with the intentions of blending that out picking up that orange color again that we use it as our transition and I'm just blending out that liner. I also use the dark brown from the trio along the lower lash line as well. So moving on to highlighting, I'm using a combination of two highlighters, both from Wet n Wild. I love their highlighters. Again, so inexpensive, so pigmented, like golly. <laughs> so I'm bringing that to my forehead as well as nose, cupid's bow, and chin. Going into my wet and wild blush, I'm just bringing back the color into my face. Again with the pigmentation y'all, like do not sleep on wet and wild. Don't do it. <laughs> I'm lining my lips with Coco Loco by Jordana. And the lipstick today is a Maybelline color that just slipped my mind just now, but it will be in the description box. So yeah guys, that's it. This is my everyday glam tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I really, really appreciate it. Please subscribe, comment, and like, and I'll see you in my next video.